We're really delighted that more people want to want to celebrate uh, Shakespeare generally. We've been doing it um, here at the Globe, um, doing birthday celebrations for Shakespeare on or around April the 23rd for a number of years now. Um, we find that more and more people, not just in this country, but all around the world, want to celebrate Shakespeare in some way around that time of year. I think, I think Shakespeare himself probably would have been very surprised to find that people were still celebrating his works uh, this, this far into the future. Uh, you know, he was a kind of a, a, a jobbing playwright, an incredible playwright, but, but a kind of professional and probably didn't expect it all to go on this long. But he was really one for revelry, one for, um, you know, uh, late night drinking in Henry IV Part One, for all night parties in Midsummer Night's Dream and, and so on. And, and he certainly believed that um, those who like to celebrate have a kind of soul um, that, that isn't always shared by those who don't. And so I think he would have very much approved. It doesn't surprise me at all that we're still, you know, looking for ways to talk about Shakespeare, looking for ways to celebrate Shakespeare so long um, after his death. Um, if you can hear a little bit of noise behind me while I'm talking, it's because we're, we're building a new theatre, um, an indoor playhouse um, here at the Globe, um, in order to be able to do Shakespeare in yet a, diff a new, different way from how it's been done before, a playhouse that we hope Shakespeare would have recognised himself. And that kind of new project, uh, which went on all the way through 2012 as well, um, is, is, a, is a sign that his works have this, have this huge longevity um, that he would have been very, very, very surprised by, I think. I think, you know, they get at what it means to be human. More, more than anyone else, um, more than any other plays do. Um, and that's, that's why they still work.